one. Well, it's halftime now. Uh, this is a JV. JVs. We're at Aponaquit. Um, so JV Bikes versus the Aponaquit Lake of JVs, and uh, halftime score is JV Bikes 31, and the Aponaquit Lake is 28. Now they had a five-point lead, but Aponaquit just made a, a, bu uh, a bucket right at the three, sec uh, three seconds left, almost nothing at the clock. So it's a three-point game. Wareham Vikings are undefeated still, and they're getting a great fight from the Aponaquit Lakers here tonight. So it should be an interesting second half. And the Wareham JVs are still undefeated. Yes. So that that's very important. Um, yep. Coach Steve Fernell's boys are undefeated and. Uh, were they undefeated last year too, Christian? I think we mentioned I believe before. they were, yeah. unless he said they lost one. Right. But I, even if you lose whatever. one, it's still a really good season for the JVs. But anyway, stand by. Coming right up is the JV Bikes versus the Aponaquit Lake of JVs right here on WCTV Sports. Okay. So pause, pause. And then um, at the... Because I was wondering, I said, what the hell is the... the uh, the great and Bedford coach Rodriguez sitting his best forward down, right? And, and then somebody told me, I think he got ejected. I missed it. I missed it. So that must have been the back and forth between him and Hood, right? Yeah. Thank God Quinton stepped up big in that game, huh? Jeez. A couple of big rebounds. And, and, and how, how about the two free throws Sammy Rajoli made? When, in 45 seconds when they, he went to the line, made both of them, and then they fouled Latroy. Latroy made one, but still, if they came down and made the three, it wasn't going to hurt them. So you could see the yeah. you could see the momentum that both teams was just trying. Not I know to they lose. got deflated, they, they, but they, they just were trying not to lose instead of trying to win the game. You know, they, if they played that same, uh, anywhere close to the first half, they would have it would have been. You got you got you got to realize though that would have been like the biggest win. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The way it was know. going, it looked like it, oh. right? The fast break, they couldn't stop that. But you notice they changed. See, as soon as, as, soon yeah. as Rajoli put uh, Anthony on that. Yeah, they went they went to, came into the one dot, the they diamond one, forcing. right? They forcing, yeah, you know? yeah. So they see Asi did a nice job on him, right following with him around. Yeah, let's watch it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Well, you could have been talking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to myself. Okay. She's recording though. Okay. That's it, that's right. one point for um, Renee and zero points for us. Who do you have there? Well, seven thirty-six to go in the uh, third quarter. Wareham's still up thirty-one twenty-eight. No scoring, even though you haven't heard Christian and I. Wareham's defense looks pretty solid. Here's a long three. No good. Follow up. Side, By Nate Joe. Donovan, no good. Up. Up. Coach Fennell is not happy. That was a foul against White. I'm not sure which Andy one. White? No, 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 against White. It's a uh, side Barito. Um, he had the ball from the rebound. It's Carlos DaCosta, Mike Labonte, Andy White. Waycron. Waycron Evans lost it. Dropped the ball and lost it. Here's Troy Nanfelt for Aponaquit. Andy White. Andy White forced the uh, travel in that yeah. one. Traveling violation. Andy White will put it in play. To DaCosta. Mm -hmm. Carlos DaCosta, who will be dressing for the varsity, we understand, tonight in place of uh, Anthony Abbott. That's our inside information for tonight. The cost of the three. Wow. Oh. In and out. Ray follow up. Break one. Another follow up. He's Fouls. fouled. And he's fouled by number 11. Yeah. That's Raekwon Evans. No the line. Ray Raekwon normally wears number 32, but on the road he wears number three. Raekwon's first one is no good. Second one's no good by Raekwon. Follow up. No good. Rebound, number rebound. 11, Peter Loranga. He said the Aponica. rebound was uh, yeah. by Sai Barito, but he yeah. missed the yeah. shot. And um, number 11 got it. Wow, steal. by Da Costa. Carlos Da Costa. Wheeling and dealing here. Out to Labonte. Mike Labonte. Oh. Uh -oh. It'll be a backcourt back violation. Aponaquit ball. 
6-10 to go, third quarter. It's still 31-28. Same score we had at halftime. It's actually very smart to have it. Well, actually, no, it wasn't very smart. Jacob Kaka. His number 44. Rob Farias, big wide body. And they're going to call against uh, Raekwon. Raekwon. Morgan. Evans. Evans. This is Rob Farias, number 44. He'll be shooting two. First one. Oh, in and out. Wow. Both teams cold at the free throw line. Here's the second one by Rob Farias. No good. Four misses in a row, both Break teams. One, yeah. It's Carlos da Costa. Levante, Mike Labonte for three. No oh. good. In and out. Raekwon. Wow. Get physical under there, Christian. Two big guys, Raekwon and Rob Farios for uh, Eponiquit. Here's a nice tip away. And Levante. Mike Labonte's got it. Andy, Andy White. White. A three, no good. Carlos da Costa. Side Barato. Follow up, no good. Andy, Andy White. White, and he fouled. Wow. Three offensive rebounds there. Nice. All by where him. Nice persistence there on the offensive boards. And we got, this is unusual for the Wareham Vikings to be locked into a real close duel here into the third quarter. They're usually they're running away by this time, but Aponiquit's giving them a, a, an incredible game here. 5.25 to go. Been very equal in the because they've been locked as well. Okay, Andy White's going to be shooting too. 5.25 to go, third quarter. Still, no points here in the second half. Wow, no good. Got Barato, follow up. Misses, but he'll go to the line. He's going to get two. They got him on the elbow. And that was Tanner Mead. Well, I have paper, but I have to put it down. <laughs> Can I have a candy? Oh, they're all gone. I got some more, though. Go on, let's go. Side Barato. Good looking forward for Wareham. No good. We got a violation. Oh, they're going to call it on oh, Wareham. Andy White. Andy White. Lane violation. Oh, thank you. Still 31 28. In play. Kevin Shagas. Oh, stolen away by Dana Gomes. Back court by it. Right. I don't know if Coach Fennell agreed with that or not. It anyway, was, uh, it's no, that's but he uh, agreed with the explanation. They called a block on that one, but that was pretty close to being traveling. Bonnequit still down by three here. Mark Massa looking to run a play here. Nearly stolen away by Dana Gomes. Ball will go to Wareham. On ball on 24 for Bonnequit. I don't know. He's not listed in the program, so I can't tell you who it is. This is Mike Labonte. No, he's not there. Oh, Timmy Walsh. Couldn't handle that pass. Tim Riley, excuse me. Sorry, Tim. Still with Brendan Cooney. He's 40 a left in the third quarter. There's been no scoring here. It's still 31-28. Wareham Viking JVs. Number 12 driving. Stolen by DeCosta all along. 
Carlos nice Costa. No oh. good. I can't buy a basket here. It's going to be off white. I have to find out who number 24 is. The score table. Who 24? Huh? Who 24? 24 is? is right there. He's on the freshman team. Oh, okay. Okay, so Christian solved that mystery. Number 24 for Aponiquit is uh, Brendan Cooney. Yeah, Dana Gomes with a three. No good. Rebound number two, Troy Nanfelt for Aponiquit for the Lakers. Andy White. Stolen and another steal. Like Dana that. Gomes, coast to coast for the layup. It's good. Finally, the first points of the third quarter. Here with 3.48 to go. Good defense. Andy White almost stole. Almost Upon a collision. In deep. The 55. No good. Great point Evans with the rebound. Andy White. Too long of a pass Wild. by Andy White. Wild throw. Both coaches saying slow it down. <laughs> 3.33 left. 33-28, five-point Wareham Vikings, J.B. Lee. There's Troy Nanfelt putting the ball in play. Deep pass to number 11, Peter Loranga. Oh, he got hammered. Bob. Good. Or Andy White. Andy White came in behind him. Yeah, I think, I think they're going to call it on Raekwon Evans. It's uh, Raekwon's third foul. That was what you, a pretty harsh foul. The Lakers could close this game to two points with this foul shot, if he makes it. This is Peter Loranga. It's good. We got a two-point game and a timeout. No. No, no timeout. Just the referee just slowing it down here. Because Timmy Riley puts it in play. Dana Gomes. Costa Labonte. Mike Labonte. Barito. Costa. Oh, a long three for DaCosta. In and out. In and out. Side Barito saves it. So we get a new shot clock. Dana Gomes. Gomes. In and out. Looks to Costa. Inside Inside the side Barito. Barito. Oh, wow. Where? Wow. He got stole it. Wow. Big shot. offensive rebound by Cy Barito and a putback for the Deuce. So Wareham's back up by four with 2.47 to go here in the third quarter. Wow. Oh, he was out of control, isn't he? Yes. Double dribble. Peter Loranga. He didn't see DeCosta yeah. coming up behind him. And, uh, well, he didn't have control of the basketball anyway. Well, he lost yeah. control of the basketball yeah. when DeCosta yeah. hit it. Here's Mike Labonte for a three. Uh, Hits the stanchion and guide wire. Oh. <laughs> Anybody get Will Chamberlain to get that? Yeah, well, step ladder. We got a timeout. The ball is stuck. We got a new ball here. We got one right in Nick. Dallas <laughs> <laughs> Acosta, three tries, four, four tries, a pawn a quit. You got it. Good job by number two, Troy Manfeld, to knock that ball loose. Five tries. How many players does it take to screw me? Oh, I won't oh, no, wait, no. <laughs> let's not go there. You'll be getting some calls at the school or at the station by some of the uh, parents. Oh! Nice defense by Mike Labonte there. Here's a big guy, Farias. Rob Farias, the big wide body for Aponiquit Lakers. A two-point game. Very well. Here's what was that? Costa oh, Barito. Wow. He's been a major force on the offensive boards here in the second half for Wareham. It's a two-point game. The side's going to go to the line with 2.15 to go. Fouls against number three, his second foul. Oh, wow. Very poor free throw shooting here in the... Uh, Riley comes out. Timmy Riley. And DeCosta comes out. Andy White goes back in and Raekwon Evan comes back in. There we go. Dana Gomes. And 
Wow. He missed oh. both. We got a foul. Gonna be on Wareham. Blue. Yeah. Pushing it against Raekwon. Is that his fourth? Yeah, yep. that's right. You got fourth. it. I'm glad you can see that, Christian. I can't see the board from where I'm sitting, so yeah. I'm gonna Fog. depend on you for the fouls. Foggy tonight. comes in. Xavier Folk Foggy. Yes, Monica went down by two. Two point shot, no good. Cy Barato with another rebound. He's got a, a bundle of rebounds here today in the second half. Here's Michael Labonte, passes it up. Gomes. Dana Gomes for the three, no good. Ah, out on right. Aponiquit had the rebound but lost it out of bounds. That was number 11 who lost the ball. Peter Larenga. Two players had the rebound. Time out. 152 to go. It's a two point game, 35 33. Christian, this is the lowest scoring game we've seen the Wareham JVs involved in, and probably this year so far. Well, it's still in the quarter. That's true. <laughs> this is true. This is, this is actually the but, slowest third quarter I've seen in a while. But the, it's not by, um, the disheartening thing to see if you're a Wareham Vikings fan is that ice cold at the free throw line and from the field also. They're, not, they're getting the re offensive rebounds, they're putting them back, but it's not going in. So we got to find somebody that's hot. Usually it's Carlos DaCosta, but he's he's been missing too. So, no, oh, actually he's been he's been there, just not yeah. at the, the line, just not under the basket. But he's been there very offensively. I mean, uh, defensively. Oh, he's, big time. Okay, 152 to go. Wareham's putting the ball in play. Andy White looking for Dana Gomes. Here's Dana. Back to Andy White. A layup. No, off the side of the backboard. Lots of hands on that. Kept loose by Foggy. But Monaquit Lake is with the ball. Here's the freshman, Brendan Cooney, and he'll be going to the line. Foul against Andy White. So, freshman. That's his first foul. Yeah, freshman Brendan Cooney will be going to the line for two. They're down by two. They could tie it with the sequence right here. 125 to go, third quarter. First one's no good. Wow. It's been an awful, awful. Third quarter so far for free throws. Brendan Cooney misses both ends of the big rebound by Cy Barrett. The foul shots. Here's Mike Labonte. Andy White. Down to Gomes. Dana Gomes for three. In and out. Andy White follow up. No good. Got a foul. Oh, foul against Andy White. Andy White. How many second. seconds? Andy second of the night with 107 to go. Aponiquit's down by two. And back to the line. Again is the freshman, Brendan Cooney. He missed both ends of the ones he, uh, he just uh, attempted. And uh, he's got a chance to tie the game. Freshman Brendan Cooney. Ends. Good. One point game. 35 34. The shot could tie it. Tim Riley comes in for Xavier Foggy. Second one by Cooney. No good. Andy White with the rebound. Tim Labonte. This is Dana Gomes. Oh, got a trip? Yep. Geez, I finally called one, right? <laughs> the first time yep. for everything. A blue yeah. moon, pigs flying. 53 seconds to go, and 
Dana Gomes is going to go to the line. One and one. Let's see if he can make the first one. Good. You get a, you get a bonus. We're hearing back up by two. See if Dana Both can make this one. Fouls. Dana bends and shoots. It's good. Two big three throws for Dana Gomes. 34-37, three-point game. Pick up Monaquit, bring it in. One quarter left to go, but on. only a minute left for this one. Here's the freshman. Ooh, wow, nice to the big guy, Rob Marius. Big wide body, number 44. It's 37-36, a one-point Wareham Viking lead for the JB Costa. undefeated squad. Cabonte. Costa, go. Someone's gonna shoot this. Oh, they oh. tried to get it into Tim Riley. Pass into Got stolen. Conflict. Mike Labonte with a steal, a big steal. What a save. Come out. Come out. Coach Steve Fennell calls a timeout. They were yelling for what a great play by Mike Labonte. And Dana Gomes, when he got possession, coach called timeout, and they saved the ball and possession. Nine seconds left to go, though, in this quarter. One point lead for Wareham Viking JVs. Looks like this one's going to be a, a, a nail biter, Christian. Oh, Unless still something. Another quarter. Yeah. Still very low output here for the Wareham Viking offense. So that's good for uh, Conquits. Yes. Dave, Wareham Viking squad has been averaging something like 76 points a game, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> They're only at 37 yeah. right now. That's right. Not even halfway there. It's very cold, though. This, this, is the, this, is, this, is the closest, this is the closest we ever sat to the uh, bench, so it's nice that we can get to see the whiteboard. The coach is drawing up a way. the coaches, yeah. though. <laughs> Turn around yeah. and smack us. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, you know, I don't want yeah. you to. Okay, Mike Labonte put it in play. This is Anthony DaCosta. Oh, stolen away. Bad pass by Dana Gomes. Here's the freshman, Brendan Cooney. He's gonna go to the line. Carlos DaCosta with the foul. That's Carlos is first. Christian, can you see the clock? Set his first foul? Yep. Yep. And this is the freshman. He's going to the line for the third time. Good looking freshman guard here for the Oponaquit Lakers. They're down by one. Actually, they're calling it against Costa. That's the second he, foul. He could, uh, he could put the Oponaquit up if he makes them both. The referee's telling Andy. Well, then take a dribble, make him cover you, and then throw to it. To check in the shirt in. Okay, what part of the place and throw it to the white team? Proper dress is required on the court at all times. <laughs> Here's Brendan Cooney. First one. No good. Wow. And it goes on. There seems to be a, uh, a missing, a miss jinx here at the free throw line for both teams. Brendan makes, misses them both. Here's he, Mike Labonte driving to the hoop. No good. Follow up. Cyberto. Oh, up and down. He didn't call it. Andy's right. Shot clock. That's the referee called the foul. Wow. Against Farley. We're going to call that on Rob Farrios. 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 Wow. Uh, the Quantico coach is not happy about that. Could have went each way. Okay. The referees are over here consulting the scores table. They're going to put some time back on the clock because the foul was com foul was committed before the buzzer went off. So we've got is that 0.3 seconds, Christian? Yeah. Or three. 0.3. 0.3 seconds because you can't have a foul so, without any time on the clock, as the referee says. Going to the foul line. And it's one and one. Ray Raekwon Evans. So Raekwon's on the clock. And this is uh, Farius's fourth foul. Wow. Here's Raekwon. Oh, he missed it. I don't think he would have beat the buzzer in that one. 
Okay, the end of three quarters of play. The Wareham Viking JVs 37, the Pontiquit Laker JVs 36. We got a heck of a ball game here. With eight minutes left to go. I don't think I have nails left from the Bears game, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> got plenty of gummy beers, so. No, those no. fish, fish. You have to know your candies. Oh, what are we? Fish. Just one. Fish. Gummy yeah. fish. Is that what they call it? Swedish no. fish. Swedish fish. There's a difference. I wish I had a slice of uh, Wise Guy Pizza, though, right now. That would be a nice halftime treat. Maybe uh, Renee will treat us to some on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we're we stopping. Got, I didn't yeah. see anything in the woods. <laughs> we might have to go all the way back to Wareham before we find something to eat. OK. We're, uh, here's the buzzer, getting ready the boys to come back out and finish this game. Eight minutes to go. We're in the fourth quarter, and Wareham has a slim one-point lead over the Aponiquit Lake or JV squad. <laughs> Been a tight game ever since we got into the building. Okay, Wareham's going to be putting it in play. Matt Griggs. Carlos the Costa. Gary is on the floor with Griggs. Two new fresh players. Mike Labonte with a three. In and out. What a rebound by Matthew Griggs. Mike Labonte with a save. Matthew Griggs. Dribble. Over to Costa. Carlos the Costa for three. Big three for Carlos. He's tying his shoe. Four point game. That was the quickest shoe tying I've ever seen in my life just then. Carlos da Costa, we got a jump ball. Nice job. Got all ball. Oh. Possession upon a quit. Got a three pointer. No good. Matthew Griggs. Carlos da Costa all the way for the layup. No good. Mike Labonte nope. couldn't get it. Lakers pull it all in. That's uh, Troy Nanfelt slowing it down. A jump Water shot no. by Derek Carrier. Derek Carrier. Matthew Griggs all the way for the layup. It, we got a foul. Fouled by number 55, it looks like. Nate his, Donovan. Yep, his third foul. It's gotten awfully quiet here. <laughs> Matthew Griggs will go to the line with 6.51 to go. It's 40 36. Let's see if he can break the cold. Good. Swish. Nothing but net. Mr. Smooth. Matthew Griggs. He plays for the Rossi also. Matthew second is good. Two big free throws for Matthew. 36-42, Wareham's up by six points. Got a foul. Foul against 55 again. Oh, no, foul against Wareham. Matthew Griggs, I think. Yep. That's his second. This is Nate Donovan. Good, he'll get the bonus. Five point game, 42 37. 647 to go. Nate Donovan second. In and out. Wow. We got to travel. Wow. They're calling. Uh, no, he had no possession. They still call it uh, a traveling. On Raekwon Evans. He was holding onto the ball though, and I think when he turned, he took no. a st three pointer, no good. Rebound, Nate Donovan. Foul against uh, nice foul. Levante. Mike Levante with the foul. That's Mike's second. Nope, first. Mike's first. Back on the line is Nate Donovan. Down by five. First one is in. 
Rattles around the rim and in. We, we got a four point game. Second one by Nate. No good. Raekwon. Raekwon. Nice. Rebound. Nice save. Raekwon Evans. Matthew Griggs. Oh. Raekwon ducked. Wow. Matthew Griggs didn't see uh, Mike Labonte, who was wide open there on the right wing. Raekwon Evans ducked yeah. to avoid getting hit in the face. Oh. It'll be wear handball. One off the uh, Bonnet Foot Laker knee. Okay, we're him with a slim four point lead here with 6.24 to go in the game. Levante back to DeCosta. Back Matthew to Griggs. Inside to Levante. Mike Levante. Up in the air. Raekwon. We got a, we got a foul. Foul. Against number 12, Josh Cabuccio. Yep, they're in the bonus situation, so Raekwon will shoot two. Well, both teams have ten fouls. Mm -hmm. Raekwon. Wow. Both teams struggling at the free throw line. I don't think we've seen since we've been here, yeah. Raekwon hit one. Oh, missed them both. Big rebound by Guerrier. No good. No good. Gary yeah, yeah. with another rebound. Second one by Derek. Wow. Good shot by Gary. 38 44. We're him up by six points. Oh, knocked loose by DaCosta. Matthew Griggs back out to Carlos DaCosta. It's no good. Here's Derek Gary. Knocks the ball. Backcourt. Call a backcourt violation. That was close. 5.45 to go. 44-38. Here's Matthew Griggs. Griggs, Costa, Levante, Costa, Griggs. Looking Inside to Gary. Derek, Gary, yeah. No good. Couldn't get it to fall. Here's number three, Jacob K. Carr. Jacob K. Carr moving to the right wing. Back out to Nanfelt. Layup by number 11, Laranga, no good. Got a foul. Foul against number 11. Block. So Mike Labonte will go to the line. 5-11 to go. This is almost as quiet as the Virgo tournament. <laughs> oh, another miss. Wow. It's like free free baskets. Side comes in there's for some, Raekwon. There's some kind of evil spirits that are lurking about in the uh, gym here tonight. Knocking away the free throw shots. Nothing seems to be going in. 5-11 to go, 44-38. Very low scoring contest. Okay, Michael Obani will get another try here. Let's see if Mike can make the second one. Oh, in and out. Follow up by Cy Carato. It's good. Yep. Cy with a nice follow up off a good offensive rebound. Five minutes to go. We're him up by eight. Edge. Here's a pawn quit. No baseline. Here's the freshman. 40. Brendan Cooney, no good. Rebound by Guerrier. Griggs. Matthew inside. Griggs. Wow. Nice jump pop. Time out. Upon a quit. 440 to go, and Wareham's got a 10 point lead. Just like that's, that. That's where they want to be. Still got a ways to go here. <laughs> Still have four, almost five minutes. This, I think of all the JV games we've seen so far, Christian, this has got to be the strangest one. It's just. Nothing seems to be flowing no fouls the back court, no in the offense. I mean, they're playing great defense. They're getting rebounds, but the follow-ups are not going in. They're cold at the free throw line, but so is Aponaclip. They're struggling at the free throw line, too. I thought my job was bad sitting on these hard benches. I hate to be the coach who's bent over half the time and be like a hunchback. <laughs> 
looks like Coach Vanell's throwing much better after that bout with the flu he had last week. He got hit pretty hard. Still seems a little quiet mm. than, than his norm. He might still be feeling some mm. edge of it. Okay. Aponiquit will be inbounding, inbounding it. Troy Manfelt will be putting it in play for the Aponiquit Lakers. Peter Laranga coming up court. Here's the freshman, Brendan Cooney. Ball against Matthew Griggs, I wow. bet you. Close. That's Matthew's. How many fouls on Matthew? Third? Just ran into yeah. the referee. Here's Brendan Cooney. Good looking freshman for the uh, Poniquit Lakers JVs. He's been struggling at the line also. This one's no good. Wow. This, this kid's missed a bunch. Raekwon goes in for Gary Air. Coach Fennell looking for some muscle underneath. Here's Brendan Cooney with his second try. No good. Kid snake bitten. Wow, lost. Out of bounds. That's Rob Farias, out of control. He went on his back. He's uh, trying, to, trying to push yeah. around Raekwon. He's, he's holding his right knee. He fell down. That's not a good sign. Uh, timeout, you know, injury timeout. As the Aponiquit coach goes over and looks at his big forward, Rob Farias. They're waiting for the uh, athletic EMS. It's uh, a 10 point Wareham varsity a JV uh, lead here over the Aponiquit Lakers with 4.31 to go. And, uh, the only thing that's changed is about 10 seconds since the last time we said the score. Injured player is being attended to. He's, uh, he's definitely in pain. If he, go, if he goes out, this could be a big push for Wareham. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his, the big guy goes out of the game. Then it goes their offensive and defensive rebounding. <laughs> so, Coach Steve Fennell taking advantage of this timeout. He's going to draw something up for the Wareham Vikings because, oh, and they're going to take Rob Ferrios to the dressing room. Obviously, uh, he's in pain and uh, he's getting some help from the attendants. So let's let's hope it's not a, uh, a season ending injury for the, the Aponiquit Laker, JV. He's one of their better players. So Wareham will inbound the, inbound the play because Aponiquit lost possession of that on that last play. Here's Matthew Griggs, 4.30 to go. Wareham up by 10. <laughs> Griggs to White. Andy White. To Griggs. Side blocked by right. Aponiquit. Gomes looking for Griggs to Side. Side Barato almost lost it. He did. Stolen by Aponiquit. The freshman, Brendan Cooney. Got a block. Fans and the coach are not happy. <laughs> uh, I think I said, yeah, I yeah. think I saw the same thing that Rep did, but yeah. I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut. Yeah, they, they're they're claiming the, the the freshman lowered his shoulder into the Wareham player. Who when was the ref is saying Griggs. That Griggs fell before yeah. he lowered it. Oh, there's another miss by Brendan Cooney. Wow, and we just heard from the scores table. This kid only two for eleven at the free throw line. That is not good. Two for eleven. <laughs> See? Here's Brendan Cooney. Finally makes one. Three for 12. Here's Carlos Tacosta. We're hands up by nine. Andy White. Andy White. Way over here, too. Mike Labonte for three. No good. Big rebound by Raekwon Evans. A putback. 39 to 50. 11 point game. No, no, no. Big bad. It was a long three by number 11, Peter Laranga. Hits the three, and Aponiquit back in within eight. Andy White, 
into, into Raekwon. They take it away oh. from him. Peter Laranga with the steal. The double team Laranga, but he gets it to Nanfelt for the layup. A rejection by Raekwon. Put up by number 12 for Honquit, Josh Cabuccio. No, that was Tanner Mead, JB's. Oh, you're right. Mike Flaboni into Barato to Raekwon. Underneath, it's good, and he's low to the line. Raekwon muscled his way for that deuce. It's 2.58 to go, 52, uh, 43. Ooh, that's his 55, his wow. fourth foul. And Raekwon will get the bonus. Let's see if Raekwon can make the uh, back end of this three-point play. No good. Andy White, off play, off Andy White. Gary in for Rayquan. Matt, Matthew Griggs, Griggs is coming back in, in for Andy White. White. 257. Back up a little. Back up a little. Back up a little. All right, big now. Still 11 point lead. No, excuse me, 9 point lead. Peter Langer. Langer, Peter Langer. No good. The freshman, Brendan Cooney. Jump shot, no good. Derek Guerrier with a rebound. Bounce Costa. All the way for the left. It's good. Carlos to Costa with two. 225 to go. Michael Bonney, but we got out of bounds. Out of bounds. Quit. We'll be inbounding it down on the right hand corner where we can't see. The freshman Cooney loose. Cy Barito. Cy Barito is going to go coast to coast for the layup. Round oh, the oh. out. Gary Derek Gary puts it back. No good. Cy, Cy Barito with a near steal. Here's the freshman. Brendan Cooney throws it up. We got a foul on Barito. A push, the calling on Barito. That size, how many? I don't know, I can't see it yet. I want to say it's first. It hasn't changed yet. <laughs> anyway, this is Brendan Cooney again. Missed again. Two for 14, or two for 13. Two for 13 at the free throw line, wow. Second one is good by Brendan. They didn't actually put it up. Oh, really sure errant pass by Collins. Timeout by Wareham. Coach Fennell is not happy with his team. Fifty-four, forty-four, ten-point lead. Two oh six to go in the game. Could be closer if uh, Ponquet made their free throws. This game could be a nail biter right now. But Carlos da Costa is uh, being read the riot act by Steve Fennell. I wouldn't want to be there. <laughs> Here we go. Christian from I Coach Fennell. <laughs> defense rebound, we win, he says, and he also said, I know you guys aren't used to playing this close of a game, but this is how we do it. This will be a good learning tool for 2.06 to go, because um, they have been ice cold. He's saying no yeah. fouls, rebound, defense, okay. win, hold on to the ball. Wait until you're 10 Lakers. seconds in the shot Going to try to get back into this game here. This is the freshman, Cooney. No good. Gary. Gary. The Mike Labonte. Now, now they can say eat. slow it down. They can eat up some of this clock. Here's Carlos. Nice move. Matthew Griggs. No, not yet. Pull it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mike Labonte, all the way for the layup. No good. Pull it out. Get it. Pull it out. Brendan Cooney, fast break. No good. There he is. Couldn't fall for Nate Donovan. Here's Matthew Griggs, slowing it up. Slowing it down. They got two men on him. They got a foul. They're used to going fast and uh, trying to get them to slow down. He One wants them to wait till they're about 10 seconds on the shot clock before they go and trying to pull them back when they're so used to pushing forward. Is okay, Matthew tough. Griggs will go to the line uh, with a minute 19 to go. 10 point lead. First one good by Matthew. Finally. That, that free throw in this one could ice the game. I don't want to jinx them, but I can't see a Ponaquit coming back with a minute 19, the way they've been shooting from the free throw line. Good, nice. second one. Two nice free throws from Matthew Griggs. By 12 points, I don't think so. A little more comfortable with a 12 point lead here with a minute and 12 to go. The three pointer for Ponaquit wow. is number three, That's Jacob K. Point. Carr. Nine points. Wow. Langer hits the floor for Aponiquit. Matthew Griggs. Garia. They're moving the ball around. Oh, they got to follow him. 51. Follow him to slow down yeah. the clock. Or stop the clock, actually. Hey, right, they got to start shooting threes now. 51. Well, they just did. Yeah. <laughs> but they need yeah. position of the ball. Right. Yeah. And that's what okay. Wareham needs to do to just stop. Oh. Is keep the position okay. of their ball. Two key. Free throws attempts here. First one's good. Big, big free throw for Matt, uh, excuse me, Anthony DeCosta. Carlos DeCosta, excuse me. Second one is good by Carlos. Two big free throws. Andy and Andy. Yeah, Andy White. Yeah. And then we got adding DeCosta. Three pointer. Wow. Bombs away. Derek Garia and Barato with the rebound. Costa. They follow him. Send him Carlos, back to the line. He almost got away around that guy. Got his on there. So with 40 seconds to go, Carlos DeCoster is uh, gonna go to the line. Bringing all the way hand players yes. back to stop yeah. the three-pointers. Oh, Carlos misses the first one. Be nice to see him make this next one. Put him back up by 10. Uh, it's all 12 actually, 12 points. 59-47. 40 seconds. Want to quit here. They'll be trying to fire up a three. This is Langer. Off. Stolen. A leg. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Carlos da Costa gets control of it. Nice recovery. Very nice by Carlos. Matthew Griggs, they got fouled. Well, foul on Langer. Now, yeah. so. now it's trying to keep Lang away. Langer's fifth. Yeah, Langer's out. Here's Matthew. He's made it. Uh, Matthew's made his last four free throws. So I think Wareham's got the right guy in the free throw lane. Free throw line right now with 22 seconds to go and a 12 point lead. Here's Matthew. This is still the lowest. Yes. Wareham has been. Nice, Matthew. Makes his fifth in a row from the free throw line. The warmest player on the court right now. Here's Matthew. Second. It's good by Matthew. 61 47. 14 point balls for the Wareham JBs. In the lane for the deuce, no good. That was number two, Jacob K. Carr. Big Back out. By si. In. Number three, Jacob K. Carr for the three. And timeout, Aponiquit for the nine point lead with six seconds to go. They would need three three-pointers. 6150. Six well, if you three, were to, three if, you, if, if you were to ask me in this third quarter if the if the Vikings were going to get 60 Stop. points, I would have said you were crazy. <laughs> but here we are, 61. <laughs> but it's been a very strange game, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, okay. It's almost like. Um, this, this, the Wareham JV team, I thought, almost like they, they're running out of energy or something. It's like, not as fast as we used to seeing them play. Everyone's scared of the flu. 
That could be. So, um, supposedly, Wareham's going to win this game. And what would make the, the Viking JV squad uh, would this be, be, be their eighth? Eight no overall? <laughs> the other side. Five seconds. You just got the ball. Wow. Wow. No good. Follow up, no good. Final score. Wareham Viking JV 61, Aponiquit Lake is 50. Uh, Coach Fennell not happy with that last sequence. But the Wareham Viking JVs undefeated were, again. Uh, it wasn't yeah. pretty, but we'll take the W. Some of the fans aren't happy either. Well, but hey, a win is a win. Let's forget about it and go home. Yeah. <laughs> Take the and, win. And a nice yeah. win. Yeah. Nice, nice win by, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, 11 points. Yeah. So we're still undefeated. And uh, this broadcast has been brought to you and by, by <laughs> guys yep. the nice guys Yay. from Main Street Wareham. And that hand is not for the wise guys, but for the Wareham Viking JVs. But we'll give a hand for the wise guys. And next yeah. is going to be Vice. Yeah. And speaking of wise guys, we'll be there Friday afternoon for our afternoon delight. Right? Yes, Correct? Yes, we will. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. Uh, no. Um, Friday we'll be in the truck because we're doing a bigger shoot, so we'll get more pizzas though. Oh, great. That's even better. But anyway, coming up is Wareham Viking Varsity basketball against the same opponent with Lake of So we'll see you in a little bit.